very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is the last weekend so i believe everything is going well with the weekly signals that i have sent last saturday on my weekly analysis video uh, so far i think the pound usd and gold and if i'm not mistaken usd jpy is going well in the profit no i think usd cad not usd jpy anyway let's now review the signals together and see what happened in the market and what we can expect right now from the pairs so for example let's now start with the euro usd euro usd i have sent the signal that we can start short the pair at the level 1.19017 which is here however it seems like let me delete the signal first so it seems like the pair has already actually reversed at this resistance uh, the pair actually because of the weakness of the euro itself couldn't actually make the breakout from that resistance and as we can see the pair eventually has given up and reversed exactly at that resistance level so what next now if let me delete this one first and if we draw a Fibonacci retracement like that, we can see that today the candle, which is on right now, we are on, we are on the daily candle, as you can see. And for some reason, my uh, drawing tool is not working. I have no idea why. Hold on, guys, for a second. Let me just close it and open it again. And please don't screw me up. Uh, okay, good. So. Uh, what we can see right here is right now we are on the daily candle and the daily candle right now is about to close above Fibonacci retracement 50. If that happens and if the candle is going to close like this after exactly 30 minutes from now, uh, we can expect from the market actually to continue the rise to make one last retracement uh, or actually a pullback to hit Fibonacci 61.8 before the pair is actually going to be good for the short. So we're going to change the level we are going to short the euro USD. And by the way, also, we can notice here that we have right now a pattern of a resistance trend line like that. And it seems to me like the pair is actually going to continue the rise, retesting that resistance trend line again. And as I said, supported by the weakness of the euro itself, as I said, because the, they are about to announce uh, a lockdown due to the high cases of the COVID-19 in Europe, especially Germany, United Kingdom. And if I'm not mistaken, um, uh, what was the third one? Germany, United Kingdom, and France. So therefore, I believe the pair can be good to be short right here at that resistance level. So let me just select for you where we can start short the Euro USD. We can actually start to short the pair right here at this level. And let me write it for you. So Euro USD should be good for the short at 1.183. Sorry. 18389 sorry guys sorry for that and the safe zone this time is going to be ranging a little bit above that resistance level so we're talking about let me just make it at the top of the resistance level just like this so it's going to be more safe and it's going to be ranging for almost 52 pips and let's draw for you the new uh, safe zone for the signal so as you can see hopefully uh, this by the way yes i forgot to mention that this time we are going actually to change the target the target is actually going to be exactly at that level of fibonacci 23.6 because if i'm not mistaken the pair after falling down from that level is actually going to retest that support level and there is a chance that the pair actually might continue the rise again so this time we are not sure what will gonna happen remember we are analyzing on the daily candles and we are talking about maybe two weeks so therefore we don't really know what will gonna happen so we have to be careful and be sure you close your trade exactly at that support level don't keep it uh, longer than that i it's really not must not likely that the euro usd can actually fall below that support level unless there was really some bad news about the uh, about the lockdown in europe so uh, the new take profit level is going to be the support at 1.17117 so again hopefully this is going to be continuing to be one good profitable week now let's check the pound usd the pound usd actually was really irritating somehow because it was pissing me off this uh, last actually yesterday because here the pair has actually rise uh, the pair has actually rose a little bit and it actually reversed just just like five or four pips before hitting my sell level however 
uh, I was actually kind of pissed and however uh, the pair has made another second attempt look at that so we are having right here resistance number one and right here at resistance number two the pair has actually finally reversed and please pay attention to that perfect perfect entry the pair has reversed exactly at the level given on 1.30808 so so far pound usd is going in 25 pips of profit um we can expect from the pair to actually respect that support level so it actually might go again a little bit more up and there's a chance that the pound usd actually might go a little bit more up actually to be inside the safe zone before continuing the fall so please keep the thread running pound usd is actually going really well now let's check the AUD USD. Now for the AUD USD, the pair actually started to reverse ex immediately before reaching the resistance trend line. However, what we can see right here is, if we draw also a Fibonacci retracement, that the pair right now is still ranging inside Fibonacci uh, 50. And I think by tomorrow, the pair is actually going to continue the rise again to hit Fibonacci retracement 61.8 for a second attempt. So we, because here, we are uh, sorry here we already mm, actually this is, is too thick right yeah that, that, that's better sorry I didn't pay attention so that peak right here is actually representing a resistance number one and we can expect from the pair to reverse at Fibonacci retracement number 50 and it's going to continue the rise until it hit the retracement the, the resistance trend line to create resistance number two so therefore we can start actually short the AUD USD exactly from that point so let me just change the signal or actually change the level where we can start short the pair for the AUD USD exactly to be right here just a little bit below the FIBO 61.8 so uh, AUD USD is good for the short as 0 0.71526 and the safe zone this time is going to be increased a little bit more to the to be at the top of that resistance so actually we can even make it more just like that at the top of that resistance so it's going to be ranging for exactly 54 pips uh, i really doubt highly doubt that the pair is actually going to even rise to that level so the take profit level is going to remain the same because as i said uh, same for the euro USD, the pound, uh, the, sorry, the AUD USD might actually rise right here and then reverse, and it's gonna actually hit that support level before continuing the rise. So better pay attention and be careful and just close the trade at the right time. Now let's check USD CAD. Ah, USD CAD. Actually, oh, okay, it was USD JPY which uh, has been triggered, not USD CAD. Okay, so let me tell you about the USD CAD. Now for the USD CAD, what we can see right here is I have sent actually the signal to start buying the pair at that, you know something, I don't like the red color. Yes, that's better. So as I said, I sent the signal that we can start buying the, a, the USD CAD exactly from that support level. However, we can see right here that the pair has actually started rising uh, before reaching our buy level. So now what next? Now, what I'm expecting from the USD CAD is actually it's going to reverse from that resistance level. Mm, okay, like this. So as I, as I told you, my friends, we're having right here a key resistance level. Remember, we are on the four hour time frame and it's expected from the pair to actually respect that resistance level and seems like the USD CAD is actually going to continue the fall. However, uh, it's not going to fall for long because most likely after just falling for uh, like 50 pips only after hitting that support level, it's going to be good for the rise. So therefore, the USD CAD signal is going to change and we're actually going to start buying the pair exactly from that support level so we just have to wait for the pair to reverse at that resistance level and to go all the way down to create a support number two because all these attempts representing support number one all of them all of these are actually representing one support attempt and the market has actually made the attempt and it rose above the resistance and right now the market is visiting that same level again to retest it and then after that it's gonna be good for the buy Guys, I really, I really know. I talk too much. 
<laughs> I'm totally aware I talk too much. <laughs> Alright, so USD CAD is good for the buy at 1.31279. And this time we're gonna change the entry of the safe zone. Sorry, I mean we're gonna change this change the safe zone to be exactly right here. Uh just below a little bit below that support level just like this and this time we're going to change the take profit level to be exactly the peak of the resistance where it has actually uh, been before so the take profit level should be oh, let's say about 98 or 100 pips of profit meanwhile the stop loss is going to be ranging for only 50 pips um i can of course i can increase the take profit level but however i just want a safe trade for everyone and as you know scalping is my way always so therefore that is my signal for the USD CAD is going to be the take profit level at the resistance 1.32251 I know guys I know <laughs> I know <laughs> all right so let's keep going and USD JPY as we can see my friends if we look at the daily time frame USD JPY has been triggered already and the trade is right now active I believe it's going to be a good deal uh, there is so far a rejection on that level of the support on 104.344 so therefore we have to wait to see what will gonna happen I really don't think the pair is gonna be able to make the break out from the support uh, let's go to the four hour time frame and so far we don't really see any price actually you know something I really maybe I cannot I cannot mm, mm, three pips three pips maybe i cannot take the credit to say the trade is uh, triggered or the uh, is active but anyway i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna take the credit because uh i don't think three pips is gonna make a difference in the quality of my signal so anyway uh usd gpy is going in the profit okay guys just pretend you didn't see that okay just pretend that you didn't see what i'm doing and that's it okay that's enough so yes as you can see usd gpy has been triggered <laughs> and it's going so far in nine pips of profit so yeah we can keep the trade running and i believe the tech profit level is also fine so usd gpy signal is going well now let's check the usd chf usd chf however is still ranging at that resistance level right here so that previous support level let me just okay that support level right here has been actually broken out from and it became a new resistance and the pair is still ranging at that level so my advice if you really want to enter this this uh, trade you can actually start shorting the usd chf right away and make the target exactly at the buy signal uh, i don't advise that we are talking about 85 pips however um I don't see actually the pair rising above that level yet. Seems like the USDCHF is actually gonna continue the fall to hit that support level. It has to visit this area again, 0 0.8994, uh, and after that it's gonna be good for the buy. I hope so. That's my analysis and that's my expectation. So far, I don't really see any good price action here indicating uh, a, a continu con continuation in the rise so therefore if you wish to start shorting the USD CHF right away you can go for it but however I advise you to wait if you want to have a, a really really safe entry and safe trading better just wait for the right moment to wait for the pair to fall down to the support so that's uh, the signal for the USD CHF it didn't change at all and we just have to wait for it to be triggered gold as well has been triggered I, I want you guys to look at this perfect perfect entry come on give me the credit for that the entry has been actually really perfectly fine for the usd for the for, so for uh, sorry for the gold and the trade this is the scandal here oh sorry yeah this candle here this candle 26th uh, october it just uh started the trade here it went down for almost uh, i would say 36 pips before rising up again and right now it's going in 124 pips of profit and went in total of 163 pips of profit so uh gold signal so far is going very well and it's uh, going uh, in profit now what we can expect next from the gold actually we can expect from the gold to continue ranging inside that level what I'm expecting actually 
after seeing the rejection here the gold right now is stuck in this channel we can see that this has happened in the past we can see it happened right here and it happened right here and now the history is repeating itself and the gold again is trapped inside this neutral channel so what we have to do actually we have to wait for the right moment to if, if you didn't enter this, tra this trade let me show you something something very interesting we need to look for the price explosion what is price explosion the price explosion is when the when that when the when the um, the candles or the market actually stuck between a channel and it's getting narrow and more narrow and getting more tight like just like this so what we can see right here is the gold right now is stuck inside this channel and it's ranging inside it so eventually i believe the gold is going to be ranging like this for the next two days before eventually make the explosion which is going to be hopefully the bullish breakout and the market is going to continue the rise of course supported by the uh, the upcoming u.s elections and the weakness of the u.s dollar so uh, currently and let's review the history together to see if this has indeed worked so let's see for example here example for example here the market has actually um, the market has a very similar con uh, condition and let's see if the trap uh, strategy has worked so we can see right here like that the market let me just zoom um, one second guys exactly here so we can see here all right so this is the channel and it's just like that as you can see this is the, ch the trap I'm talking about and the market has actually been trapped inside this channel like this and eventually it made the explosion and the breakout was massive and I don't want to waste your time but actually this is happening almost all of the time so therefore uh, what we can hope from from, uh, from the gold actually that it's gonna make the bullish explosion or the breakout from that resistance we just have to wait some more time for it so therefore I believe um, did I do it? okay yeah uh, the tech, this is the tech profit for the gold F uh, almost 600 pips um, I think we might need to change the tech profit level for the gold it's not really realistic that is more realistic the level because actually I think by this by this week the gold if it has made actually the explosion it's gonna continue the, re uh, the, the rising until hitting that resistance only then we need to see what will gonna happen so yes I need to change the tech profit for uh, the gold to be in, in a range for this week only so here 1931.23 that's more realistic target take profit level for the gold so we just have to wait as i said guys as the right moment to start uh, or sorry uh, yeah i mean if the trade is running you just keep it running and hopefully it's going to continue the rise unless there was some unexpected news about the us elections that actually might really affect the gold and in this case this signal is going to be invalid please pay attention my friends I cannot see the future I cannot be blamed for anything unexpected happens in the United States if Miss, if uh, Mr. Trump or Miss Nancy Pelosi they gonna make any announcement or Mr. Joe Biden if any one of them gonna make any statement or tweet it actually might change these signals I cannot be taken any blame for that so anyway uh, so far everything is going very well and I believe uh, this is going to be a very profitable week for everyone. So in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.